Well, Rex was on the phone looking for airtime on this before Duffy was even back in his seat. And how could we say no? The stage is yours, my friend. Thanks, Peter. It's Mike Duffy Day on Parliament Hill. If nothing else, his Senate speech is the climax of a long career under the spotlight. For half an hour, it was all his, and he used its beams to hurl allegations and invective with great energy and attack at his one-time patrons, at those in particular, the Prime Minister, that he not so long ago was equally energetic and furious in supporting and recommending to the Canadian electorate. When things were going his way, no one had a louder trumpet for the Conservative cause and the Prime Minister than Mike Duffy. Today, with his Senate pay and suspension at stake, a glimmer of RCMP possibly in the distance, Mr. Duffy is a man liberated to gnaw the hand that so recently was feeding him. The wheel surely turns. Today, Mike Duffy compared Stephen Harper to Vladimir Putin. On the day of his appointment, I bet he thought he was a blend of Abraham Lincoln and Mahatma Gandhi. Well, the speech was a showstopper, as it had to be. If Mike had meat, this was the day to throw it out. He had, and he did. He named them all. Senator Marjorie LeBreton, Advisor Ray Novak, and of course, Stephen Harper himself. Mr. Duffy asserts the Prime Minister's controlling mean hand and presence in this entire matter. He denies that key element that Nigel Wright acted alone. That's not a cat. That's a tiger among the pigeons. It's interesting in some morbid kind of way how these two, the elevated Mr. Duffy and the elevator Mr. Harper, have mingled their fates. One must go down for the other to stay. Mr. Duffy, for his part, had the keenest lust to be on the velvet benches with the other insiders, and for that, traded a long day in journalism for a plush night in the upper chamber, a chance to join the club. Some people wonder, however, why on earth Stephen Harper picked him. Well, listening to that bitter and self-justifying tirade in the Senate will give you the answer. Because Mr. Duffy is very good with a single-minded attack. He has an instinct for the pressure points of his opponents. He is not merciful to his foes. Harper liked his almost claustrophobic insider's intensity, matches his own. That love of rumor and gossip that has always been the Duffy style. These are all traits the Prime Minister values very highly when they are being exercised on his behalf. Today, the arrows were all flying home at him, mixed with a few extra explosives. Now, both parties are at each other, and it's like cobras in a brin bag. Mr. Duffy has landed an immense hit. He has completely taken over the agenda again. He has implicated the Prime Minister and guaranteed the news mills will grind for weeks and weeks. The Prime Minister will have to haul himself out of his surly cocoon and address the mess that he did so much to create and extend. It's not a nice spot for a three-term politician with the trade deal just done and a party convention about to start. A prime minister in real jeopardy, the Senate utterly reviled. Peter.